It's a very uh, difficult question because it's, uh, it depends on artistic uh, choice of uh, director as well. But in terms of production, uh, there is a, uh, some production uh, uh, fundings uh, which can be uh, allocated uh, in uh, production. So the uh, Georgian uh, Film Center has a co-production grant. Uh, as well, there is a very small uh, new initiative uh, in a region called Ajara in West Georgia at the seaside who launched uh, the regional fund. And also what's mo uh, most important, Georgia is the old uh, historical uh, movie making uh, country. And uh, now we are recovering a lot and uh, we have uh, good professionals and quite cheap comparing the, uh, the European prices as well and good level. And uh, what's uh, also very important is uh, unrevealed locations for, for, uh, for audience. Mohsen was in Tbilisi, uh, he was invited by uh, Tbilisi International Film Festival and uh, one of the parties he saw the Georgian actor Guja Burduli and uh, uh, he, that actor evoked him uh, his uh, uh, script uh, which he wrote years and years before the president. So he said that uh, that actor could be, uh, could, could be a president. So, uh, uh, this, this was a starting point of uh, uh, sh uh, how he decided to shoot uh, uh, in Georgia. And also there was uh, my partner, uh, English partner uh, from fame, Mike Downey. Also he was invited uh, in jury members and they started to talk. And, uh, and uh, little by little and quite soon we started shooting of the film. Mohsen first time was afraid about the actors and quality of the actors because he was traveling a lot uh, in East and in some countries he couldn't see uh, professional actors. But uh, when we done a casting, he said that uh, he can shoot here. So we choose the locations, which is not quite, uh, if you know Georgia, so we will find that it's not so Georgia. So this advantage as well that uh, we can shoot in Georgia not only the, the, the uh, like a stamp uh, Georgia images only, but it's Georgia is very various. So uh, this was uh, one of the most important. And the second thing was that uh, it was uh, impossible uh, to find the finance for uh, this film in Georgia as well. And Georgia little by little are returning to the map of the international movie industry uh, and financial side as well because we're part of the Irmash and it, uh, it gives us good opportunities for a co-production and also in Georgia we have a co-production uh, competition let's say uh, once a year uh, announced in a gen by GNFC so we are using that as well and this gives us a chance to work with uh, internationally as well. The main choreographers uh, was, uh, of course, uh, Mahmalbov himself. Uh, but we have uh, quite good stunts. So uh, there was an um, uh, involved stunts. The guys who are falling down, and etc., their stunts. But we used uh, ordinary people uh, as a row. Uh, and uh, I th when I see these uh, frames of the film, I like the movement of the DOP. So it's, it's very important, the angle, how you uh, fit with the people uh, in the image. So uh, I would say that uh, two most important creators of that scenes are the director and DOP with the help of the stunts. Georgian films are recovering. So we mainly making films uh, with uh, our own crews. So the Opis are one of them. And uh, if you look at other films, you, you would see the, the quality of the image as well. So, uh, and they're producing very good quality of image. And uh, I would, as a producer, uh, would recommend uh, to, to look at the Georgian films and maybe choose Georgian DOP as well because the, there is a quality 
and uh, they're cheaper than uh, European ones or, or East, uh, Eastern neighbor ones, but very good quality. I would say that uh, you can choose the DOP in terms of taste. So, uh, and, but everything uh, in Georgia, because industry is very small, the good professionals are few. So I would say I would count on uh, seven, eight DOPs in Georgia, not more, uh, as an international level. It launched several years ago when um, uh, strategy for Georgia was, uh, I would say, drawn. Because uh, if you see, uh, the Georgia is very small, industry is very small, so even Georgian and, uh, with films with the nationality of Georgia, uh, they are co-productions. So, uh, but uh, it's impossible always to ask money and ask money and ask money, but you should also return something back. And uh, uh, also, if you do a co-production, your level and your crew member's level is uh, becoming more higher and more cap co uh, competitive. Uh, I think this was a background to announce and to launch uh, a co-production uh, grant uh, in uh, GNVC. It's quite small, but it has a great effect because it gives us chance uh, to, to shoot international films with uh, uh, famous directors uh, in Georgia. Two years ago we shot uh, a film called uh, Welcome to Karastan or Lost in Karastan. It was, the director was Ben Hopkins, the, the scriptwriter was Paolo Pavlikovsky Ben Hopkins. It was a co-production between uh, UK, Georgia, Germany and Russia. From UK side, it was actually first UK-Georgian co-production and from uh, UK side was uh, fame. And uh, when I'm doing a, a partnership with some, someone, I'm thinking about long-term, uh, long uh, uh, I would say, cooperating. And uh, in terms of fame, they came also in a president. So, uh, and we have some plans together, more plans. And also I'm doing a Georgian product, projects. Uh, which will be, of course, co-production, but uh, majority Georgian, and director will be Georgian. Uh, the project name is Dede. So we already have a grant uh, from a GNVC. We won uh, a Doha uh, Institute Fund, so uh, money in Doha. That's great news for us, and we're going to shoot it next year. Georgia is a new location, so many people uh, would afraid to come in new uh, area and uh, about quality and ma many things. I would say to that people, don't think that you are risking. Come in Georgia, observe and shoot in Georgia and you will be surprised in good way.